How can we alter perception through design? Perception is how our brain interprets sensory information. We sense the world around us with specialized cells like taste chemoreceptors on the tongue or thermoreceptors in the skin sensing temperature, but we perceive with the brain. Our brain constructs our perceptions of sensory experience. Consider the spitting dancer. This illusion demonstrates that our brain's interpretation of visual information can be influenced. The dancer appears to spin either clockwise or counterclockwise, depending on how your brain interprets the ambiguous visual cues. We can influence the way we perceive she is spinning by adding a little context, some light and shadow. Prior experience gives meaning to our present sensations. Prior experience can come from stored memories or from something you just now experienced. Because of this, a powerful design technique to influence perception is something I'll call sensory juxtaposition. This involves sequencing two contrasting elements, one right after the next. Let's try a simple experiment to test sensory juxtaposition in action. Grab three pieces of grapefruit, one piece of lemon, and something extra sweet like brown sugar or candy corn. First, sample the grapefruit. My grapefruit tastes sour. Next, sample your lemon and then the grapefruit again. Now my grapefruit tastes sweet. Finally, sample your sweet item and then the grapefruit once more. Now my grapefruit tastes sour again, and it's even more sour than it was the first time. In this experiment, we witnessed our perception of the exact same stimulus, the grapefruit, change simply because of prior experience, what we placed in front of it, the lemon and the sweet item. We can do the same trick in design to influence perception of spaces. By juxtaposing sensory qualities like light and dark, color, room scale, and acoustic treatments, we can make spaces seem bigger, brighter, and louder. Architects like Frank Lloyd Wright and Le Corbusier understood the power of sensory juxtaposition. For instance, they cleverly manipulated ceiling height to produce some pretty dramatic effects, where a home with a low ceiling entry hallway opened up into a living room with a high ceiling, making that taller living room space feel even more grand. The designers of Anchor Center for Blind Children in Denver, Colorado, also use sensory juxtaposition to guide non-visual learners. Here, walls of classrooms are angled about 12 degrees from parallel, causing the room acoustics to change from the adjacent corridor. This effect, in addition to floor material changes between corridor and classroom, give auditory and haptic cues to help guide transitions between the different activity spaces. Sensory juxtaposition is a powerful design tool to amplify perception for greater impact. By thoughtfully sequencing sensory elements, we can shape how people perceive the built environment. Join us again to explore more sense hacking tips for creating richer built environments when we infuse design with science.